Okay, hey everybody. Today we're gonna be, well, I know we're gonna be drilling some holes for the screws. After that, we got no idea. I mean, it could go with a hair, but not much. Hey. That's closer than government work. Yeah, yeah. That is closer than government Or as the they say work. in the music industry, I don't know, that's close enough for metal. <laughs> okay, now. And now. Anybody that has a problem with me saying that, Google it, and it will tell you that is a industry saying, so I don't want to hear it. Okay, let's clear that. Uh, we know we're we know we're on target there. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna be screw uh, drilling the holes so we can screw and screw the pit guard to the body. Well, we are if we can hold it. Yeah. Make sure it's lined up. Yeah, now, ladies and gentlemen, I, we ain't got to tell you, that was a little bit nerve-wracking. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> not only that, but we was having to hit the center of each one of those holes. And that was all by hand. We're going to have to blow that out of the air before we get yeah. started. Good. Mm hmm. So far, it looks good. All right, y'all. Right now, we're doing uh, basically a full dry fit on this. Huh. 
that's what you call an issue. Alright, so basically what we had to do is take thin little slivers of this out of the neck. I mean, this is one of them. Like that. Yeah, we just thin. Fit it. What do you think? That's a lot better of a fit than uh, <laughs> it was that other. Well, it kind of looks like the holes are kind of lining up. Yep. I mean, I was even having gonna have to have you somehow knock it your way because it was like. They were more, I mean, they were in the holes. It was just, if this is the hole, it the it was like right here. Well, instead of dead center where it should have been. These holes needed to be centered. Yeah. It was more off to your side before we yeah. slot, took those little, two little slivers off. Well, what are you getting into? Aren't we going to even get the neck on and everything to make sure everything... Well, I, I mean, everything lines up with it without. Slight tap. Let me, let me. <coughs> yeah, that lines. Yep, that lines up perfectly. And what we did was make sure that lined up with there. We will be right back with you here in just a second. Yeah, they look to be lining up. Well. It looks like it's a little tight over here. It don't look like our screws for that are lining up. Does it? Close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay. We got. We have to look at every yeah. problem from twenty different directions. Yeah. Uh. Okay. What you want to look at? Uh, that I'm not sure because I know they. This is per, from lining up good. I mean, we got the pickups there. They work. They're spaced right. The switches are. The neck is. That is. I'm tempted to say you want to degrease it and try to put some. Uh, put a coat on it well it's not as bright as we no I mean I, I don't mean this yet I mean on the body oh because wasn't it what wasn't this for both of them yeah 
And by that, I meant a uh, premium cleaner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the body itself, it has been handled yeah. so much. Yeah, it's got all the grease and oils that are on a human hand. Yeah, and, and so it would definitely have to be wiped down. Yeah, well. Uh, that was the shipping truck. Reckon? Yeah. I mean, wrecked him? <laughs> wrecked him, damn near killed him. Uh... I want to put that somewhere. Get this stuff bagged up and. Uh -huh. Let me see what I. Trap saw. Yep. And for those that saw the uh, hot rod telly build, yes, when I saw Duplicolor, it did kind of make my stomach get a little nervous. <laughs> hey, pick it up. Mm -hmm. Pick it up, I'm on. That way, when you put it face down to do the back, I'm not doing that. Oh. Well, anyway, when you put the back down, <laughs> or are you going straight to the sprayer? Uh, I need to red. Well, that way, it won't have to touch that bag that has all that junk on it. You know, all the scraps and stuff. Yeah. And because I don't know, is does this have like a long drying prop period? It pretty much just wipe on, wipe off. Wipe on and let it flash off. Which probably be ready once we get the uh, spray thing set up, probably. And that's how you clean off grease and oil off of a body. Next up, we're going to be spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying. Still be visible. That, that's another reason we're using heavy. Okay. Getting low or? Huh? 
getting low? Or? Oh, I've got, I've got plenty in here. All right. One more time. As we go, we will be thinning the lacquer more and more to make it lay down smoother. Yeah. But this is a base coat. I'm wanting to get the color on it, and I'm wanting to make sure that any grain is filled. Yeah, which... Most of it is filled now. Ah, depends. It depends what angle you're looking at. Well, it, it, it will be good. Cause I feel like that stand right here. <laughs> it will be good. Good bit of grain there. Wind up with this stuff all over my place. Probably. I mean, it's getting there, but. Yeah. Hey, how many coats do you think we're gonna put on? I it? don't know. A bunch. Ah. Okay, this is after the base coat of paint. And well, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. Don't forget, every Tuesday night, I go live on Smosh TV. And friends, I never know who's going to show up. And we will see you, well, next Friday. Subscribe to Lance Moss TV.